Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new episode of Career Mode on Moto GP23. We are finally into our first full season and as you can see we are on our Moto2 debut here for Portman. We have joined the Fantic Racing team. Many of you might be asking why we didn't do a season in Moto3. Physics currently just do not allow the game to be enjoyable on a Moto3. Uh, the AI's physics just don't really uh, allow you to race them because they, they're on a different physics system to us. So. Um, yeah, it would have been absolutely miserable for me to play it. So I've jumped on Moto 2, done a race or two. The AI seem ridiculously clueless again this year, so it's going to be tough, but we're going to give it a go. We're in a bit of a backmarker team as well, so it's going to be a bit of a roll to glory and see can we snatch a title here in the Fanta team. But without further ado, let's jump over to Portimao for round one of the season. A new start, finished in front of Cestino Vietti in the standing. So for the first three races, the game wants me to beat my teammate pretty uh, decent, I suppose. You want to start off well, you want to secure number one in the team. So we're going to do a few laps here in practice, get a feeling for our steed for this season. And I'll probably check in towards the end of practice with a status report. So at the end of practice, it looks like finally we found a decent setting for the AI. Most of practice on a hard rear power two, so I wasn't really going for the outright lap record. A second off, Samkhya Chantra. My teammate does up in P2, so we're going to have to do our best. But we are straight through to Q2, if everything stays the same in practice 2, which I do hope it does. And uh, yeah, the only issue at the moment, so the curbs are a bit deadly here, as they've always have been. But the actual game performance is really bad. There's so many frame drops and stutters, which I've not had before, which are really off-putting. So for the 10-12 lap race, it's going to be hard. We're going to give it our all, but we have oh, qualifying up next now. It's interesting to see, can we uh, go one better with Power Mode 3 and maybe a little soft, cheeky rear tire in. So let's jump over to Saturday's main event, qualifying. So after all that, talking about how a soft rear tire might be the one, it's pushing it down. So it says variable for the weather forecast. We're hoping maybe. I'm going to go out and do as many laps, get up to speed in the wet. Because you never know when it could happen in the race trim. So we're going to get as many laps in the wet as possible. But if it starts to dry up, we might have an old weird session. So let's see how it goes. Let's get on track in this horrible conditions here in Portimao. So we've done our first lap here in qualifying. I must say I feel really good on the bike. It's the best I've felt all weekend in these rain conditions. There's a famous saying, you'll never be an Irishman in the wet. And maybe it is true here as we are taking so much time out of Pedro in front of us at the moment. So... So far, so good. We're provisionally P1, but I think we're the first one across the line. But I'm feeling like maybe a surprise result could be on the cards here in Saturday's qualifying. Pedro, my man, what are you doing? Don't ruin my lap. Ah, oh, it's going to wait for me in the third sector because of Pedro. Are you for real, dude? Thankfully, I'm still point nine up, but Arbelino was on a red middle sector. So it looks like we have the speed, but we need to keep going because I think the track might be slightly improving because the AI are getting closer. As well as my lap there was pretty good, but a certain Pedro in front of me decided it wasn't to be. So we made the update, now we're going to push on for another lap, and then I'll probably pit and go towards the end to see if the track dries up a bit. So just over a minute left in the session, they are here setting some personal best sectors and some red helmets are flying up, so I want to just make sure that the track isn't improving. We've come out on the start to this lap in front of our teammates. We might drag him around for a PB, but currently we're on pole by almost half a second. I just want to do another lap and just try and cover off any opportunity of anyone going quicker. Oh, in the last corner, we've managed to just tip off in the wet and we were under. That will be our session done. Dixon's done the same. Should be a good penalty there for him for crashing under a yellow flag. But must be getting heavily wet in the last corner there because that was a very strange crash. But the session is done. Sam Lowe's is on two personal sectors. 
And we've managed to keep pole position. So our first qualifying session of Moto2, and we take pole position by almost four tenths over Isaac Guevara, Manuel Godin, that is rounds out the front row with myself. Where did my teammate come? Ooh, all the way down in P17, so already we look like we have the pace over Chestino, which is going to be good for my title aspirations, but what a start! I cannot believe that, to be honest. I knew in the uh, dry I felt decent, that I could probably squeeze a decent top 10 in the uh, quality, but a wet pole position, that is really spicy this weekend up for me. So as you can see from the main grandstand on the start finish straight, we have a sunny, clear skies, small bit of overcast in the difference, but I do not believe we will have any rain, which is a bit of a disappointment because I would probably win this race if it's in the wet, but like you saw in the end, any any mistake and you will end up on your backside in the wet, so probably not a bad thing to be starting P1 in the dry conditions, but we're going to get on track now for the race, wish me luck. So we've gone with the hard rear, most of the field looking like it's going to be a medium hard. Can it going with a soft, so we'll have to watch for him and Sampia Chantra off to start. Teammate going with the same combination tyre, so it looks like throughout the field, hard rear tyre is really what you need. Many people gambling on the soft, it's going to be a tricky, tricky one with that one, but uh, I'm hopeful as we're doing a bit of a Lorenzo here on the warm up lap, pulling away. I'm really hopeful that I get a good clean start and uh, we can have a good opening debut in the Motor 2 class. I'm really looking forward to this. At Portimao, everything's ready for the start of the race and the adrenaline's running high. There's only room for one thought in the rider's mind, to make it to the finish line first. Right, here we go. Critical we get off the line well. Oh, they held the lights for so long, and we don't, as we get a wheelie, I drop throttle just because I didn't want to uh, loop it off the line, but we're brave into turn one, and we keep the lead. It's got a 12 lap race here, 50% races this year, so it's going to be a long one, so get settled in. Already though, we've lost the lead to Gavir, they take such different lines, and I felt like that as well in a... Uh, Practice that they take such different lines. We lost P3 to Arbolino, but we look like we're going to get it back on the brakes, are we? No. Oh, touch the curb. So, straight away in the race here, it looks like we're being beaten up. As you would expect, getting pulled in the wet isn't going to transfer to great wet to dry pace. So, well, probably my first time all week I've been around other bikes on track, and they are beating me up, unfortunately. So far here on lap 4, the AI are being ridiculously over aggressive. They are probably a bit quicker than me, which would make sense considering the equipment they're on, but in terms of their aggression, I just can't live with them. They just keep riding into the side of me, riding underneath me. It's a bit annoying, really, because I'm doing quite well to stick with the uh, top 10 here. And uh, at the moment, the AI are just riding into me, pushing me off track in so many places. I'm afraid this race could easily end in a crash at any moment because of the AI. Mistake from Dixon. Can we get the run on him? We've made a bit of a gap to Sam Lowe's, thankfully. Fastest lap from me of the race. I'm about a second off the front men. Still ahead of Vietti as well, which is important for me. Down the inside, we're going to cut to the inside curb. That is Dixon disposed of. He's going to be very aggressive into turn four, though. Oh, he gains on the brake through turn three. Getting a lot of stuttering again there now. Oh, he goes for it again. Look at that. Punts me off the track for no reason. Do you have so little just knowledge of where you are, any idea what's going on? It is very annoying to race against. So it looks like again, maybe the AI difficulty are slightly too high because they're just riding through me and I don't have the speed really to match them in the way they're riding. Got so lucky there with crash. Gonna go to the inside of Dixon. I wonder what it'll do to the uh, social media afterwards, the fact I'm colliding with so many riders. Will I be seen as like a dirty rider to others? I don't know, but it's going to be interesting. 
I'm not really the dirty, well I was dirty there, but most of the time it's them hitting me, but we're having a little, <laughs> it's like a road rush really, and we brought Sam Lowe's back into the party, I didn't want to bring him back really, because he's another one of the really aggressive ones. Up the inside we go, wait for the eye to T-bow me. Already nearly at half race distance down here in P10, so the goal is to finish in the top 10 from the team. What in the hell was that? Where's Sam? Here he comes. We're going to cut back underneath him. Are we? Oh, he comes right back to me. So it seems just like in Moto3, the AI don't have the same physics as me. They can pick up the throttle so much faster out of the long hanging corners, which is really annoying because I can do nothing against it. It's all in the brakes is where I'm making up my time. And again, we're going to make the move on Dixon into turn two. Can we hold her two turn three if I can keep ahead of him this time? I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go wide, invite the overtake. Try and get to the cut up the hill then. As Sam, what are you doing? Idiotic again, and it's starting to stutter massively now. Drifting it down into turn five, but we can't make the overtake. Frame rate has gone so bad, I'm wondering is my recording even picking this up? We're out of the top ten at this point now, which is not great. Big ball, Ben Schneider, up next ahead of me, if I can get back ahead of him. The AI as well don't seem to make mistakes, they're just riding into me and they have no idea what I am or who I am or where I am, to be honest. They are, they've been accused of riding on rails a lot in this game. Tony Abelino's crashed out of the lead, would you believe, after all that? wonder how that happened. Or where it even happened. Dixon's gone to the car park. Is he going to come back and top me? Pretty much. Look at what Philip Salich is doing to me. So this corner here now, they just ride away because they can just pick up the throttle and drift it. Whereas I have to be patient because the bike will pick itself up otherwise. You can see him because then they go and they just push you wide again. Going to be out of the points here soon if we're not lucky. Or if we're unlucky even. Doing my best just to stick with them. On the outside maybe. I'm gonna keep the move. I'm gonna roll off. I'm gonna send it into the tree a bit. Oh my god, the frame rate's gone so bad it is. Stuttering everywhere. How did I stay on there? That should have been a definite crash. As we cross the line to start lap 8, I'm wondering if we're going to get a few drops of rain. It's gotten very overcast in the last few minutes here in Portimao. I cannot get over how bad this game is hitching at the moment. If we get a red flag at this point, it will be... Oh my god, I lost the front again there on the curve. It will be curtain, so I kind of want to start making moves now. Have to send it here on Salat. Oh, and Bill Ben Schneider. Can we stop it? Just about. They tagged me. I'm so lucky not to go down. Like it's nearly impossible to make an overtake on them because if you don't get it right, and even if you do get it right, they'll just ride into the side of you or into the back of you. Someone's crashed. Oh, Iogora. Oh no, it's not Iogora. It's uh, Isaac Guevara. But look who's crashed. Even though that's not him, that's Lopez. It looks like there was a couple of them crashed. Oh, big mistake there, onto the curb. Cannot get over how stuttery it is. I really hope you can see it on home, on the screen. It's just how bad it is. It's just so bad, it's like hitching everywhere. Look at them all going wide. I'm gonna keep a tight line, see can I make up. A couple positions are back. Oh, what is Zonta doing? Doing a bit of grass tracking from Mr. Van der Hoeburg. Not the first to do it, won't be the last. Oh, I don't touch that. I did what they did. The goal is the top 10, which is where we sit currently. It's going to be hard to do it. We only have a couple of laps left to keep this position though. I'm going to go aggressive into one. Oh, not too aggressive. We're going to kill Zanta. Oh, Zanta's not happy with me. 
unfortunately. Not going to be happy with this either. Oh, big mistake. He's going to kill me. No, I need to pick him up there. Let's let Dixon through. And whoever the Grassini bike there was hitting me. Oh my god, this is like unplayable here at the moment. It's like it's rubber banding now as well, which is making it even more fun. It still says we're getting 90, 100 FPS, which is weird. Going around the outside, on the outside of Zanta there. Going to Pierre at the moment. The rain comes, this is where you want to be in the top. And can we ride around Dixon? No, he can't. He just puts me on the car very aggressively. Not long left this race now, so I kind of want to get it moving. I want to get away from these guys, but I am pushing already, so anything could happen, especially with the stuttering. Dixon riding off the track. Is he going to turn in on me? No. He's going to be doing a bit of design to motocrossing. No, not this lap. Thankfully. Up the inside of Guevara we go. He squeezes me onto the curb. Cheeky bugger. We look to have dropped the group behind. Which is good to see as we end up smacking the back of Guevara. Frame is... Or don't even too, I don't know if it's the frame or what it is, but this hitching is killing me. I have so little control at the moment. He's gone off track as well. We're going to try and take our normal line, see can we get him. Make a good little recovery here. Towards the end of this race. My eyes are starting to get a bit weird now from all this stuttering. Not great through this last corner went because they made that weird mistake. Oh my god, I said that and look at the speed he took through there. Alright, save with the fuel. 44 5 fast lap of the race for myself on lap 10. Two laps ago. It looks like I probably can get Alcoba. I think the podium without a crash is out of out of a reach really. Through this first sector, it's literally unplayable. I don't know how we haven't crashed yet. Or how the game. I feel like the game's about to crash, it's gone so bad. Bad run for Alcoba. We're gonna send it down into turn five. Oh, we've missed our break. Well, I feel like I've missed my breaking point. I don't know what happened there. Let's see, can we get him back? Maybe into Samsung. Turn eight. We're gonna go the long way around here. Get throttle nice and early, and that should be P5. Big mistake from Alcoba. Oh, I look at Guevara now as well, trying to drag me to the line. I get a wheelie. I'm off it. I think we've enough fuel to probably stay in power three for the rest of this last lap. I'm going to take it into turn one anyway. I know for that fact we'll have the brake performance. But with the stuttering, we've gone deep out oh, onto the green. I cannot stop this bike at the moment. And it's Guevara who's up into P5 now. Oh, front again, Jesus. Oh, our gore has crashed. Does that mean. Oh, no, we're in a battle for P4. I thought we were in a battle for the win, or at least a podium. The inside. Get your hands back in the bike, you. We need our other braking power. Man, my eyes. My eyes are killing me. If it carries on in future rounds like this, we're going to have to really rethink our, our game here because I don't think this is playable. If it keeps to be this stuttery. I have not seen any other track be like this, but this is beyond crazy. I don't think there's anywhere really at this point in the track I can get Guevara back. I'll try though. My god. I'll call back, thank you. Oh, I'll call back, made a mistake, has he? Not really. To make a mistake in the final corner, we might get something, but that's about it, really. I think P6 is going to be it for today. 
What did they do in this final corner? Did they get it wrong? No, they both get it right. We get it wrong. It's gonna be P6. Starting to feel a bit of a headache coming on now from all this stuttering, I'm not even lying. This is a piss take. Oh my god, my poor eyes. Oh. Jesus, everything is like... Oh, my eyes are actually all over the place. That stuttering was ridiculous. 12 laps, it was stuttering the whole way. Pole position to P6. Might seem like a bad result, but for a rookie, top 6 in my opening race. And I wasn't that quick in the dry. I'm pretty happy with that, really, overall. The performance of the game really affected me, but... I don't think I had much more speed. I was really happy with the comeback because we dropped the P13 at one point and to make it back to P6 at the end there. We could have maybe had P4 if uh, really we just didn't have as much stuttering. We could have done a bit better, but fabulous result. Obviously, championship result will be the same as the full result. And yeah, so we're up to P7. So only, I think my team didn't even score points, which is good for me. Good for my championship challenge against him. Yeah, that was a, an interesting race considering we had so much stuttering and freezing and rubber banding and slowing down and speeding up and all over the place. It was really, really annoying, but we're going to leave it there for today. Next up, we have Argentina. I really, really, really hope that Argentina isn't as bad because that is borderline unplayable. Um, the fact that I have a headache after playing for 12 laps wasn't like that in practice. Wasn't like that in qualifying in the rain. So I don't know, it must be with all the bikes on track. But man, that is absolutely, unbelievably unplayable at the moment. So uh, more issues again in Kerbin, unfortunately. And again, the AI are just absolutely shocking. So uh, we need to probably play around with the difficulty a bit more because when I'm getting punted off track, it's quite hard to recover and it, there's not really much you can do really against them. So for now though, we're gonna end it there. I hope you have enjoyed today's episode. If you did, drop a like down below, subscribe to see more, and I'll catch you in the next episode in the next couple of days. Thanks for watching, see you soon.